on the Florida Film Festival 2012 at the Indian. I'm here at one of the presenters of, you know, making it in today's Hollywood as a screenwriter. I mean, I know a lot of screenwriters out there are wondering, like, when I get that writer's block, you know, how do I get past that, you know? That was the one thing I didn't say that I wanted to say, and I, I, have, a, um, uh, I have a method that I get past writer's block, which is, if I get to a scene and I just don't know exactly how to write it well, Mm -hmm. I say to myself out loud, I'm going to write the crappiest, <laughs> most expository scene in the history of unproduced screenplays. <laughs> and then at some point, it starts to flow again. Yeah, that's and, um, and then I go rewrite that scene and make it less on the nose and you yeah. know, make it more interesting. Yeah. But that's how I get through writer's block. I just announce that I'm going to write the scene poorly. Just do it. Yeah. You know, and, and get then, the creative justice flow. Talking about how the industry has changed yes. from, you know, over the past 20, 30 years, you know, the digital age, a lot of different practices are, are happening. Um, how prevalent is that, like, or how important is that to know in today's yes, industry? Uh, what we try to cover is all the different uh, areas of distribution uh, and exhibition of your work. Uh, you can go out and make a movie for, you know, a hundred dollars, you know, wow. with a uh, with an HD camera, and uh, you know you can make a movie today, which you couldn't have done some years back. So I think it, it's helpful to know that there are options available to write writers who are just starting out, and even writers who are, you know, uh, in the middle of their careers, in in terms of uh, where to uh, get the material yeah. read and and produced. You know, every year I always, I'm, I think for most people, but certainly for me, I always have a handful of movies every year that I'm passionate about and I want to see over and over yeah. again and that's really my biggest inspiration and it, it doesn't even necessarily have to be something similar to what I'm writing it doesn't matter about the genre it's just like a movie that I see that I go oh my god this is why I wanted to get into this business this is why I do what I do for those aspiring screenwriters out there that you know graduated from UCF or graduating going through the process now what, what is the process for them? You know, how do they keep steadfast in trying to become discovered and becoming the Hollywood? If you're right. worried about getting an agent or a manager, getting a production deal, but you're not worried about making your script good, then what's it for? It's for nothing. So I would say focus on generating a good quality piece of material, generating multiple pieces of material, and agents and managers and production companies, they will come. They will come yeah. So, you know, it's very tempting whenever someone comes in to guest speak, and how did you get your first agent and stuff like that. It, yeah. it, I was there, so I, I was there a couple years ago, so I know it's a huge priority and you feel a lot better when you have one, but the best advice I could give is good material, keep generating it, and the agents and managers will come. That's Boom. You heard it first. The man himself, Justin. Thank you so much, Justin. Very nice to meet you.